We are gonna completely remodel my hunting cap. Look what we got dangling here. We are at the ranch and we are finally done demoing. Time to start building. Today we've got a massive crew of people coming down. Brad's coming down. He's bringing the, all the framers for my house project. We pulled them off the house. I know, don't tell Macy. Took them off the house and said, listen, come down to the ranch for like a day or two, maybe two, we'll see. And we are gonna try to build the entire addition in one day. The entire thing in one day. Brad's coming down. I already got the skid loader, got the mini, the big excavator, a dump trailer, we have concrete. Brad's coming down with an entire flatbed filled of lumber, an entire enclosed trailer filled with, I guess I don't know what's in the enclosed trailer. Yeah, he hasn't told us, it's just- it's Tools and supplies, and we have a trailer filled with tools and tools and supply, and a cabin filled with tools and supplies. So we've got a ton of stuff for this, and I don't know how many people we're bringing, but Brad just said the crew is coming, the framing crew, the people that framed my entire house. Yes, we convinced them to come down and do the ranch. It's a little different scale of project, but we needed it done. Beefcake Construction had to recruit help to get this done in time for hunting season. We have a deadline of September 1st being opener for Dove down here. We already have the plots planted and we got to get it done. So we do have some work to do. As you guys saw in the last video, the plumber was messing around here. He moved the water line. He hit the electrical, which is not a big deal. We'll figure it out. Hit another electrical line, but that was only a foot down beneath the surface. So need to redo that anyways. And then he looks like he dug up the septic. Well, the line that runs here and then the septic goes over there where all that trash is. So we're cleaning that up. And we have to drop this elevation because remember we tore up the concrete. You can see the concrete over there. If you guys missed the videos, you can go watch those. But we gotta drop this elevation down about a foot or two. That way, when we build the addition, so the addition is gonna be level with this. We're not gonna have that step down anymore. It'll be perfectly level with the rest of the cabin. And so we gotta make sure there's enough crawl space. Like right now, there's not that much crawl space under there. You know, crawl under there, get the plumbing done, the electrical done, all the piping. If anything breaks, we wanna make it easy. It's like if you're gonna do it, do it right the first time. Don't make it tough to replace water lines. We gotta start cutting up the subfloor, ripping up the floor to you know change some type of pipe. So that's where we're gonna, the, the framer should be here any minute. Brad should be here any minute. We're gonna try getting some of this kind of cleaned up, our mess and part of the plumber's mess. Get some of this dirt moved out of the way and hopefully pushed down there. Drop this elevation and then the boy should be here. I thought I just heard a car door, maybe not. I thought I heard a truck too. Did you? Is I thought I did too. Alex and the framing crew, are they bring a trailer too with all their stuff? Oh, I would imagine, yeah. They're gonna be loaded up. We got seven, seven trucks, seven trailers. We got like 19 sandwiches for the boys and a case of water. It's gonna be a good day of beefcake construction. You guys stay tuned.
work is done. Look at that. It's sloped actually towards this way. But listen, there, we have look. We have electrical wire we can't touch there. We have plumbing we can't touch here. A cabin you can't touch there. And septic line you can't touch there. There. Where the hell am I supposed to go? So um, we're supposed to take some pump. Yeah. I can dig a whole sure. sump pump. Yeah. Right. We'll, put a sump put, we'll literally put a sump pump. Like yeah. pick the lowest spot. Put a, put put a sump pump. Bucket, right? What do you What do you think of my grading skills? Uh, One out of ten. I need to work on that. Either. I need to. Oh no! Yeah, I'm fired. He's yeah, like, out. No. Well, as you can tell, Brad's Brad's cruise here. I got free free window. Is that is that, is that what's going on? We got free windows. So I, I like that. Some guy threw a rock through a window, so I got it. But the window's fixed. So there's a window. Is there a sliding glass door too? I see. Sliding glass door. Yeah. Oh, look at all. Look at all this. Look at this. I we mean, look at this up. lumber we stole off a job site. Did we? Did we steal it? No. I'm oh dang it. it! Oh man, I was hoping this would be another free another free product. So, that is so look at. I mean. Look how that much lumber. Oh, hang on, sorry. I'm in, I'm in your way. We can move some of this stuff. Wow, this is... When they say we're going to build a cabinet... I mean, look, dude, they already got Tyvek on this. I didn't even notice what that. <laughs> they got no, no, more, no more mold issues. Entire trailer full. Yeah. That, that was a full trailer. Another trailer. It's another trailer. Oh, what, what's going on over here? Wow, look at this. Sheesh. He's getting quick. So this is the new siding right here. Nice. Oh, that'll do. And then you put the little strips, the board and batten strips. Yeah. More like a, you know, a cabin. cabin. It'll, like look, it'll look like the off-grid cabin. Yeah, yeah the house. This was horizontal the old days. We're going vertical. Vertical. No, I, right. vertical looks better. And then we'll trim the windows. It'll, it's going to look nice. It's starting to smell better already. Yeah, it's, it's already smelling better. It can't smell any worse, I don't think. So they're going to start. We got all the dirt work done. In the time that we moved, like... A little bit of dirt. This is like, half, half, like half, halfway complete. The trim's already popped off. They're framing the walls inside right now. Are they really? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah. Holy smokes! This is this is. I like this. This is good. These guys are hired. Beefcake construction. Yeah. yeah. What do we got framing in here? Oh, they're getting after it. They're starting. Oh, they're getting started. I've yes. laid it all out. With oh, them. I see. So the blocks are going up there so that we can put the wall and it attaches to the ceiling. Ah. So that's going to be a full wall, but we're going to keep all this. Gotcha. So here's. Oh, I'm in your way. Here comes some walls now. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in your way. Do we? Do these guys want this out of here? Um, no, it's out of the way. Okay, all right. You just you just start yelling at me if like I need to do backyard. something. Look at the backyard. Remember this was when this was an addition. Yeah. So they're they're getting it all strung out here. Wow, we moved quite a bit of dirt actually. That was all level with that. So if you guys have been following the whole series, there was literally an, I would have been inside right now. Rip the addition. So. I feel like I'm just gonna get in the way with these guys. So what we're gonna try doing is kind of handling this without hurting, hopefully affecting these guys. A lot of this has junk that needs to go to the dump. So we're gonna attempt to maneuver the excavator, get a dump trailer backed in so I can load it, not with the trees, and try to get this cleaned up. Basically, I'm gonna attempt to run heavy equipment here while these guys are framing up the cabin. That could be a doozy, I said I'll be super careful. I don't want anybody to get hurt out here, obviously. But you can see they're stringed up, so this is, this is the addition right here. It's gonna go all the way to here. So we dug it down, that way we'd have room for a crawl space um, and for it to be level with this. So it'll be one, I mean, that's a lot of crawl space. If you're looking at this, you got a dungeon under there. So I think yeah. we did good. I think we did I too. Mean, we put it all, you got a berm over there. One sump pump, it. everything's fine. That's, I, I, I don't wanna hear any of these little comments, No, you need a you know. big auger, yeah. five gallon bucket, sump pump, Yep. At the lowest spot, yeah. plug it into power, yeah. and it's and just fine. Just let it run. What's the problem? Yeah, who cares? What's the what's the problem? Oh, yeah. Anyways, these guys are like I said, they're already tie vacuuming it. They're getting everything done. We've got one, two, three, four trucks and trailers out here. Well, it's you count the oh, ones and, that were already here. Yeah, true. And there's more Six, trailers. Seven. I mean, we got look, we got the crew out here. We're trying to build a cabin in one day. That's that's the plan right now. So I'm nervous to ask Brad how much it would cost. Yeah, I wouldn't. I think we just asked for. The hey kids. Brad, what was the uh, what what do we what's the bill so far? Do you know as far as the oh, for materials? What would you guess the lumber that's been that I just? Delivered? God, I don't want to. Um, Thirteen thousand. I was gonna say eleven. You're right on. No way. 11? Yeah. Eleven thousand? Look at yeah, me. I, buy wood. I, I buy wood. Yeah. Okay, eleven grand, really? Yeah. So. Eleven grand. So you're looking at that's eleven thousand dollars we're looking at. I think at. it'd be a. It's like going buying groceries. You're going well. Where is it? Where's the extra? Yeah. Where's the rest snacks? of it? Eleven thousand dollars for a bunch of lumber. That's pretty. Ugh, that makes me sick. That's just to build this little addition. Uh, just an addition. Yeah. We're not building. Just, a house. We definitely save money by demoing this, not just yes. getting rid of it and building a whole new one. Yeah. Oh yeah, because to frame that would be it'd be twenty thousand dollars to frame it because you're going to have to replace the subfloor and you're going to replace everything. Which we said that we said about yeah. twenty. We we estimated that that's a twenty thousand dollars structure as is to recreate that structure as is would be at least twenty. And just like framing and subfloor yep. and floor joists yes. and, and this market, ceiling, and it just keeps going, going up. up. That's why yeah. people are almost 
remodeling what they have yeah, yeah. versus demoing. Demoing, yeah. Because, God, if you have a halfway decent shell, which you've got a great plan yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. The bathroom stunk and it was a terrible design. Yeah, but we're fixing, we're it, fixing we're it. Moving it in the new edition. Yeah, and you've got plenty. I think Pop Beefcake's in. He, What's he doing? He's in the, in the Possum Palace right now. That's where they. Palace? That's where they lived. That's all their bedding from the Possum. That's under there. That's oh. what that is. Cause see the the lines up there. Yeah, that's gross. Yes. Yeah, pretty. Pretty huge. Yeah. So, uh, what's the plan with the roof? You got an idea? Well, once we get it all framed up, then I thought we would just come in and, get a, and put a whole new roof on right the whole on thing. Top. Yeah. I've got the guy that's going to spray foam the whole thing. Oh, sweet. And then we'll we'll probably pull all this off and put a felt uh, the the new um, it's like a uh, Rhino Guard. It's a got really it. Good product. It's like ice shield, but we put it over the whole thing like a rubber matting. So that goes uh, we'll beneath that, the roof. Yeah, underneath the metal. So, so you're saying metal, take the metal off, metal put that on there, yeah. spray yeah. it, and the then... It's going to just kind of continue on the same it'll, slope. It'll, we'll go probably a little bit higher up. Yeah. And, and so then tie, tie, tie it in tie higher. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be a yeah. little bit of a shed. But Got it. What people need to know is the, the stuff on the roof, shingles and metal, all that does is protects the underlayment, which keeps the house from leaking. The roof doesn't keep the house it, it protects the rubber membrane ah so it's only as good as the rubber membrane yeah, yeah. essentially that makes yeah. that so that the makes sense go bad, then you're then it's going to work its way through yeah yeah so new roof entirely this will look, it'll be a, it's a brand new cabin yeah. when you're done i mean new siding new i mean it's going to be i, I can't wait wow. to see it it's going to look that's nice. going to be impressive yeah. so all right well i'm i definitely just going to get in their way i i do? say we just do this if you guys, yeah, if you guys i'm going to clean all i'll clean all this up yeah i'll get rid of all this i'll smooth it out i'll Remember, try not to septic, hit anybody your lines under there so yeah. stay away from that, with that we'll, we'll we'll just we'll, we'll what we do is we'll claw it hopefully not shoot any shards into the the crew yeah. and we'll crane it into the dump trailer okay. and we'll get rid of all of it. <laughs> all right, well, let's get back to work.
Well, I got it cleaned up, ish. At least I gave the boys a spot to throw stuff. I was trying to grade this out. So, dump trailer's full. This is the next round, but yeah, I tried to smooth this out. That way it's easy for them just to chuck yeah. material here. In a good pile now. In a good pile, so make it easy. So, look, they're dumping, they're dumping the crete. The, the crete's going in right now, so. Um, Nate, was you're getting your ass kicked by some rocks? Is that yes, what I heard? Yeah, I was. It was made of, made of <laughs> you can tell you're, you're, you're so you were you, are you were swinging. Guess we lost. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So far, we we've used every single piece of equipment yeah. that we've brought down, and then some. Every tool, shovel. I mean, it's we were not pickaxes. Look, look at that. That came out of that. Just hole. straight rock. Yeah. Crazy. See, you know what? It's nice about this is we're not building like a 5,000 square foot barn aluminium doing the same thing because mm -hmm. that's you'd have worse rock oh, actually yeah. over there. So. Oh, yeah. That's a little better, but they're getting the concrete poured, and then I'm guessing they're gonna put like some type of little bracket, and then that's where the posts, that's where the posts are gonna sit on top of. Some people will put the posts in the ground and pour the concrete around it. Some people will pour the concrete and then put like sometimes like a bolt and then a bracket, and then there's the post. We got four by fours. I mean, the amount of lumber is Brad intense. Working. What do you look at you? Uh, I think a guy We're putting you a, to work. I threw another rock through a window what? and I got you another one. Some of this rock guy. I like this guy. He's nice. <laughs> yeah, this one. That's when crime pays. Yeah, yeah crime it pays. pays for you. Yeah, it helps yeah, me yeah, out. Yeah. So I'll take I'll take every little bit I can get. Drop 11 grand on some. Yeah. There's a lot of lumber in there though. Yeah. I mean, that is. That is a lot. I mean, look. You think you're building a house. It's just a freaking small addition. I wish I could see how much lumber was from my house in one go. Like, oh, it would be like, the bread bread bread. Bread. How many semi trucks like literally semi loads after semi loads. It's crazy. So as I got that done and cleaned up, obviously the boys are, I mean, they're going a million miles an hour. This is crazy. You know, I feel like this is like extreme home makeover when they bring in like 67 people and they just like get her done. I feel like today is like that. We're just, we're getting her done. What's going on in here? Getting big things happening. Oh yeah, look, get the wall. The wall's going. Well, we're gonna see if this. We're gonna take those windows out. And okay. Use them in the bedroom. Oh. And use these. Uh, sure. Fancier ones up there. Okay. I'm down for whatever. You just tell me where to stand. I'm, I'm here. I gotta talk to Alex on that one. See if it's, see if it's good, good we're, move. We're winging it on the fly. So That's fine with me. We got a floor plan. We yeah. don't have any elevations. So. No elevations. No, so just, we're, yep, we're look, look at that forward. wall. As I say, it looks a little <laughs> short. That I'm not a framer. Really. That's, yeah, there yeah, it that is. Going. There it is. Isn't like that it? crazy though? They feed him a board that's per that fits perfect. There's two pencil marks. Yeah. There. Yeah, there's a guy outside. There's, these guys, yeah. These guys do this for a living. I don't. I just, I, I don't know what I do to be honest with you. So anyway, so yeah, stay tuned. Hot dogs were delicious. Now, yeah, look, I mean. You got a floor. Dude, I wouldn't even have that tacked up there by now. This is this is crazy. I mean, that's, I will say our, we did great on the crawl space. Yeah, it's so, super, it's plenty. I mean, Banjo could live under there if you want She might to. hold water like a swimming pool, but there's plenty We of can space. put a bilge pump. The electrical panel's right there. We'll just wire us a bilge pump. You don't like that idea? Uh, who's gonna be crawling under this? <laughs> who's gonna be doing maintenance in the swamp? There ain't gonna be no maintenance. There ain't gonna be no maintenance. We, we, we got we got a bilge pump. The other thing we could do, which I, I don't know, I, could think, I thought I even heard of that, is get some tin and tin it. Well, Brad was talking about. Or using that. Oh. If we're if we're ripping the roof off, yeah, we could. Because we don't want possums crawling up in there. That thing has to be. We need to do it and then honestly like almost backfill it a little well, bit. Brad like said he's gonna have the guys spray foam the inside of it. Oh it then, it, then, we have, then we have to then we have to worry about it. Treated board on the bottom. Yeah. And then tack that tack that to down it. and then come in and spray foam on Gotcha. It. So then we don't need any more possum palaces inside there. Mm -hmm. Only only one. So these guys are they're just about done with the floor joists. They're ready for 
the sheets, Simple. some OSB. So that's, we'll finally get to do something. I, I, it's like, I've been trying to stay out of their way. But we got rid of the junk. I mean, you see, you have the trailer. You guys saw us do all that. Cleaned it all out. So I'm trying to kind of stay out of their way, but we're in there. It looks like they're getting the post cut, which would be what they're going to tack it to, the concrete footers mm -hmm. that they put in. But as soon as they need these sheets, that's, that's us. We're, gonna, we're, we're just, we're just sitting here ready, like, them, just tell me what to do. Just tell me what to do. Them. And we're going to slide them over there. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, boom, bomb. Done. And they can't do the one by the bathroom. Yep, that one has because, to stay floating because yeah. the plumber has to get in there. So we got to make sure we say that. And then we are trying to figure out what to do with the roof. If we rip it off, we don't have a roof to put on it. We don't also have enough OSB. because So these guys literally just put a tin roof with vapor barrier under it, which no wonder it's leaking. So there's no like, like when I did the cabin, like we would put OSB and then some type of waterproof, whatever, and then the metal. So there's literally no wood up there. Like it's just... You couldn't stand it. You'd fall, yeah, you'd fall through. So we're like, just rip it off. We'll put a new roof. So it's obviously, you know, it's going to be more expensive than, but it's going to be better. I mean, you can already see it. We doubled the size, literally doubled it. It's now a double wide uh, is what we're in. So we're not sure about the little bump up there because we're going to have to take this roof up and tie it to the top, like ridge cap area. That's what these guys Who's shaking the trailer? Nate, what are you doing with that? Oh, he's shaking. Huh? That's you. I'll tell the band, the, the trailer says, <laughs> So anyways, that's pretty much the plan. We're gonna glove up. Brad's, yeah. Brad's gloving up. He's excited. You guys stay tuned.
this wall isn't uh, well, straight. How, of, how eight, close? Eighth, eighth of an inch? Eighth of an inch. Is that close enough? Yeah, but I want to keep it on the other side. Okay. <laughs> you got you to be perfect. So this is the old doohickey. We got board here and then this board with some, with some shims. And that thing does that and it pushes that way. And makes the walls uh, straight, flat, level. So Alex, 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 if the if the owner wasn't standing right here with the camera, would eight inch be good enough? Oh yeah. No, <laughs> he wants to make it perfect. He wants to ride with two inches. So. Yeah. Oh, jeez, <laughs> throw me under the bus like that. I'm a, I can't take the heat anymore. Buddy's chirping me. All right. Well, hey, how's it going? Quick update for you. Bathroom wall framed. Looks like the other bathroom wall maybe framed. Bathroom bedroom wall. Bathroom bedroom wall. So there'll be a ba bathroom here. Drop zone here, huge sliding glass door here, okay? We got a nice big window here. This is the map master, I don't know if it'll be master, but just bigger bedroom. Um, it's actually 10 foot, I think, the, is the other one 10 foot too? What? That bedroom, 10? Uh, no, it's not 10, it's, it's not 10, it's seven. probably seven or eight. So this is, it'd be more of the master. And it'll have a door to, directly to the bathroom, so it'll be two entrances. Then look at the freaking. that's a window. I don't know where Brad found these things. The rock guy, the guy who chucks the rocks. Yeah. So Brad said there's a guy that walks around town chucking rocks at houses, and then the insurance gives uh, the owner new windows, and Brad takes. So I don't know if Brad's the rock guy or what. He Brad might is. Be. Brad might be the. You got it. Brad might be the rock guy. I'm not really sure. And look at the, look at the old ladder strat we got going on here. You like you like that guy? That would have taken us an hour to build. That's what they I'm saying. They threw it together in five seconds. It's looking good. I'll show you guys what. Oh, what Why it's looking like from out here. Oh yeah, I guess I could use the ladder. <laughs> It looks like we're building a house because we practically are. It's 34 by 12, pretty good size. So anyways, that's it. This is our siding. Siding's gonna go up here soon. Um, Nate and Max ran up to get lumber to, we don't have enough lumber for the roof because we're redesigning the roof. I don't know. I think these guys are gonna work for maybe three or four more hours with us. And I'm gonna see, I bet we can get it about sheeted. Brad thinks we can get it sided and yeah. they're gonna get the the, new the rafters and all that. Yeah, it's going to be open. But yeah, so then maybe tomorrow if these guys are wanting to come back and have a good time with us again, we get her finished, so stay tuned. All right, more heavy breathing. Here we go. Heavy breathing. Though. Heavy breathing. Go till it balances out and start walking. <laughs> wow, these are long pieces of wood. Good Lord, you know, 20 footers. Not cheap. 20. Yeah. Okay. Then they're just going to feed them up there as they need them. Yeah. How much? Did, how much did one board run? $34, something like that. Sick. Sick. I love that. Oh. <laughs> he says, yeah, you did. <laughs> 20 feet piece of wood. Someone's getting hurt. Too many. We got too many cooks in the kitchen right now. $34 a board. Yeah, you just light money on fire. I know. Why didn't we just get an RV? Good thing they weren't I know. What are we what are we building now? We're gonna put a bigger overhang on the back. Ah. Put some lights in it. Oh, look at this guy. This is running the middle up, huh? Half of this cabin's gonna be like bougie and that old home camper. He's like, oh, do we have can lights going now? Okay, got it. How much those gonna run? Sick. Yeah, you messed up. You've been brought free range. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow, I'm sorry. You gotta watch it. Watch out for Max with the lumber. He's a he's a loose cannon. I like turning it. It was like right there. I was like, hey. Uh, oh yeah. Last one. $100,000 lawnmower, it's a $100,000 uh, lift, forklift, which is actually good because forklifts are actually expensive. So I'm going to try to make everybody's life easier here. The boys are working really, really hard on the roof. They've got to go at 5 o'clock, which is in like an hour and a half, so we're going to try to get it sheeted. That way it's at least ready for 10. So we're going to put everything on the pallet forks on the tractor. I did leave the mower on for a reason, for counterweight, because I didn't want to do a quick nose dive. So I'm going to try to, huh? Somebody curl up. In your force, so. Curl up. Yeah. Better. All right. So I have to. I have to basically pick this up and crane it to the workers. I really have nowhere to go here. You could use the excavator, but I think I'm gonna have better security with the tractor. We're trying to get her done. I don't think we're gonna build the cabin in one day. It might be a day and a half. But we're gonna try. Stay tuned. Where are you going? We might be going for a ride. Does she feel like she's pulling you forward? <laughs> she's she's giving me the old dance. I'm gonna try to get elevation first and then go yeah, forward. Yeah, I would just get it up and then drive. Yeah.
gotta give it some forward self. Every time I lift it up, yeah. it's like it's one more. I don't think you want to go any higher than this. I ain't trying to flip. It's if close. I flip, this whole edition's gone. Mm -hmm. And maybe we should just maybe let these guys walk on extra minute. Huh? Yeah, I should, I should just call it a day, but we'll call it good. I think we call You're it done. good. You're All done. right, we're calling it good. All right, well, let's get the sheets on the roof. I'll be honest, I just sat in an AC tractor for the last hour and a half. I'll be honest. Yeah, we Somebody had to man the hydraulic issue because there was so much weight up there, the hydraulic slowly failed, and then I'd raise it up, and then it slowly failed, and I'd someone had, someone had to do it. It just had to be me, I guess. So the boys literally have the entire roof done. It's sheeted, it is uh it's ready for felt and tin, which we don't have. Well we have felt, but we don't have tin. It's also five o'clock. I know these guys have we've worked a long day. I got up at like five thirty this morning. Uh, it's been a, been a long journey. I'm real, fingers crossed they come back tomorrow to finish. I know they've got like, this was like a side project, basically doing Brad a favor, which seems like that's the majority of it. The plumber was doing Brad a favor. The electrician was doing Brad a favor. So shout out to Brad. And again, if you guys are new and you want to see the in-depth on the, the design of this, this whole thing was designed by Brad. He has a YouTube channel, Brad the Builder. And he's designing everything. We're picking out fixtures. I mean, he brought me free freaking sliders. I mean, he's making, he's making it happen. It was for Brad. We'd be pitching tents for hunting season, I yeah, think. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what would happen. So, anyways, I think the boys are going to kind of finish up the fascia. Fascia soffit. They're about getting her done, did. I think we're probably going to call it today, so stay tuned. Shoo! All right. Well, folks, that's what we're, that's what we accomplished in what we as in uh, Alex and his crew. That was Beefcake Construction Elite Squad that only gets to come down when we are in a bind. And again, I'm sure a lot of you guys wished Beefcake Construction only did it. I low key do too, but the problem is hunting season starts September 1st and there's just no way. So we had to recruit some extra help. Super thankful for it. Alex's crew is insane. They're unbelievable. They almost got all of it done, but it's crazy. We started with an addition, took it out, and now we have another one. Look, boom, but I love it. The floor is not dropped. I love that so much better. Look at this. Boom, walk in here. Look at the window. Why is that window so big? That's a massive Massive window. Again, shout out to Brad for bringing me out a window. The little scratch and dent rock sale. That's it. That's a big window. You like it? It's huge. I knew you need that. You're yeah. in the country. There's no one can see. Yeah, this is, that is massive. So TV there, couch there. This is the half wall. Yeah, so that still needs to be taken out. So we still got to do that, but that's what it'll look like. We left this on there. I thought that was kind of cool. Bar stools back there. Come through here. Here's the bathroom. The bathroom goes into there. This is a drop zone with hooks. All A bunch of hooks right here. Um, you can even probably put hooks over there, but... You step up, we'll have to regrade it or build some steps, obviously. But kind of a drop, this is really just a mudroom right here. This whole thing is a mudroom and you've got entrance to the bathroom here and in the master bedroom, which is right here, you've got another entrance to the bathroom. So you share it, Jack and Jill, that way, you know, if I wanna bring Macy and the kids out here, kids, as I said, as if I have more than one, I have one, I promise. But come out, then we've kind of got a master and then you got a nice big sliding glass door. There is a window here. I'm almost tempted 
to either put in another or oh that's probably why he didn't do that because the bed can't go over there that's probably why because i almost thought the window should be over here and then i guess the bed could go there that might be a little weird i don't know i i think there's just the the, re the other reason is from the outside the cabin it doesn't you don't see any of the glass from that side and it'd be cool because like for thumbnails and stuff but it's all framed in the rough frame is we left this wall as as is it'll be an accident wall. we'll probably sand it down and stain it i guess that is too i didn't even realize that that's i guess we could always sheet it yeah i guess we could always sheet it uh put it over the top of it i, I don't know i think it's cool it, it's a log cabin i think we just need to fix the colors i think the colors are the one thing that probably needs to go i'll show you oh hang on i've got homemade scaffolding here watch out so i'll show you what's talking about that window we'll have to see like so i think it wouldn't be that hard to frame in a another window or just not put the other window there so you can see from there what it looks like you can see some windows but you come on this side which to me i'm like this could be potentially cool thumbnails maybe not I'm thinking maybe right there would be another decent spot for it so anyways that's what we got done today you have to stay tuned in the next episode to see what gets done tomorrow the other thing we're hoping to do tomorrow is frame in that which you guys don't know what we're doing we are going to be taking the two um what do you call it the, the awnings the little porches there's two of them frame them in sheet them in tin them in completely so that it basically doubles our interior inside shop space so we can park mules under there boats under there stuff like that and then eventually we got to take the b mount so then we can park the tractor inside so i mean look at that that don't even look like a little cabin anymore that looks like a full-blown house in one day unbelievable folks well stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already uh, if you want to see us stay in this overnight and do some hunting videos obviously that'll be over at the main channel which will be linked down below and if you want to see the design behind it how we're cutting corners getting stuff for cheap scratch and dent sales all that stuff will be over on brad the builder channel which will also be linked down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you next time and peace